Hi, Mobile Crisis Response Team. This is Michael. Okay. Um, and where is this call coming from? It's law enforcement, okay. And what jurisdiction? It's the Escondido uh, jurisdiction. Take one. With mental health crises on the rise and counties really trying to figure out how to implement something to support folks in the community, technology has to be solid, it has to be reliable. At San Diego Mobile Crisis Response Team, we really rely on high-tech cloud support. As a program administrator here, I do really feel responsibility to the community to take all the calls that come into us. Our goal at MCRT is to provide an in-person response to anyone all ages in the community who is struggling with mental health or substance use crisis. The team that's out on the call, we Our goal is to get them stabilized at the least restrictive level of care possible. And part of that is really identifying what programs or supports do we need to put in to help support people. San Diego County recognized that we had a huge influx of folks that were struggling with behavioral health crises. Our spectrum of crisis intervention wasn't large enough. So they put together this plan to create MCRT at Telecare and we quickly turned over the program and launched countywide by the end of the year. We'll be there, we have a team. There is high pressure for the tech to work. Everything we do here is through technology. Beacon is either web-based or an app and is our main form of communication between our dispatcher and our mobile field response team. When a call comes in, the dispatcher is dispatching out the first responder team into the community by using Beacon. Beacon is multi-layered. It helps us track the time of how long it's taking us to get on scene to provide support, which is really critical for program operations because we want to be timely in responding to people with crises. The other part that it provides is helping our dispatchers be able to see where all of our teams are at in the community. That way we can strategically dispatch the team closest to the call. Get a team out to you as soon as possible, and it looks like we do have a team available. There's a lot of different things that our program intervenes on. Someone who's feeling depressed, or it could be a teen who's having some issues at school, being bullied, is refusing to go to school. Two and a half years ago when we opened, we were serving on average of 50 calls a month. Now we're up to about 500, sometimes 600 calls a month. I worked as a paramedic in San Diego uh, for many years. When I created this technology, the heart of the effort was to help people in need. The PagerDuty Operations Cloud is our internal response system and helps make sure that we can keep things up and running and our users are able to maintain critical response services. PagerDuty enables technologies like Beacon to alert, coordinate, and track responders and ensure that they can deliver life-saving care. You can add any map layers you want. PagerDuty was a fantastic solution for Beacon because it came in at the time when we were expanding in terms of both sophistication of the software platform, but also the size of our engineering team. And because we have users in multiple time zones running a number of different operations, it was imperative that we were able to keep an eye on all of our different components and ensure that uptime was at its maximum and problems were resolved, whether it's push notifications, whether it's the maps, the servers, the backend, the web application, the mobile app. There's a lot going on. And to be able to keep eyes on all of that and identify problems arising is absolutely critical. Because PagerDuty is keeping eye on all of our systems, our engineers have been able to be focused on innovation and creating new features that our users need to ensure that they're able to respond as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Hey, Ann, George, we have a call near Balboa Park for a member with psychosis, no SI, and possible. I really like that dispatch can track us when we're out in the field, whether we're on scene or we're transporting, they know where we're transporting to. Hey, George, yeah. we just got a location change. We're gonna head to the As 
we're meeting people out in the community. It helps us, you know, have this peace of mind that we're still safe as we go out and do this work. Beacon provides a lot of those safeguards for us. Our hope is that Beacon is coordinating mobile crisis response teams around the country and within five years, we'll be dispatching responders to about 100,000 incidents per year. I'm really proud of the fact that we get to be something different in San Diego County and we get to give people a different experience when they're having a crisis. Having pager duty backing Beacon has enabled us to be able to help thousands of people in the community. And without that support, we wouldn't be able to do the work that we're doing.